guys. I don't know what that was. Hi guys. Um, so I'm looking a bit crazy right now because I've just done my eye makeup. Um, I'm not done underneath my bottom lashes yet, but yeah, this is more for an Instagram look that I'm going to post um, later. But I thought instead of um, carrying on with the rest of it, I will record a video and show you guys um, my foundation routine and take a bit of time showing you how I cover up my spots and stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, <coughs> I'm done. So, yeah, um, it's just going to be a quick foundation routine so i'm going to start off by moisturizing my face and i've recently oh my god i almost dropped it and it's heavy um i recently discovered this brand um called rodial um this is bee venom moisturizer um it says extreme performance cream for mature skin i won't say i have mature skin but um <coughs> with some do you know what i can't read a lot of those words so i'm not going to try let's be honest but anyway it's really good for your skin um and i've been loving how it's been feeling on my skin considering how dry it is at the moment um because of accutane so yeah it's a really good product so you okay baby boy? Are you going to show everyone what you've done to your face? When I do my makeup, he likes to um, join in. Are you show everyone your face? Hey. Look, look. Look in there. <laughs> what have you got on your face? I did have loads of pink eyeshadow on my face earlier as well from where he wanted to paint my face. But that's come off. But you've still got an orange nose and pink cheeks. Yeah, he likes to get involved, don't you? Hey, you gonna go and play? Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Go on then. Go and play. He's probably going to keep running in and out of this video. <sighs> so yeah, um, moisturised my face. Um, another product that I'm absolutely loving at the moment is this serum. Um, and it's called Secret Weapon by Kate McIver, I think it is. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, when it says secret weapon, like, honest to God, it is not lying. I think it's been branded, like, people have been calling it a miracle in a bottle, and seriously, I'm loving it. I feel like it's already, I've used it, like, a few times, and I feel like it's already <laughs> got rid of um, some of the <laughs> Mate some of the darker pigmentation on my skin um it makes it super glowy i'm absolutely loving it and i've read all of the reviews on it and they are incredible like it's five star rated everyone loves it you have to go and look at the reviews and the before and after pictures of it people with acne have been treating their acne with this stuff um and kate's such a lovely lovely girl um, and unfortunately she's uh, battling cancer at the moment, it's really sad, but she's putting all of her 
effort and energy into this and I think it's absolutely amazing so go and check it out um so what I do is literally just place a couple of drops on my skin oh I don't know if anything came out there. There you go. And then rub it in. It just feels amazing. It smells lovely. And it literally just sinks into the skin so nicely and it's such a perfect base to apply foundation on. It just makes it so smooth and like effortless to apply foundation on too. I, I love it. Anyway, now I'm going to go in. You're still here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So I'm going to use Huda Beauty, this is in creme brulee but it's a little bit too light for me when I have a tan. Um, so I'm going to mix it with Maybelline Fit Me in 220. For people that may not know. <laughs> no, let me put this on my face. Um, this is Oliver, uh, he's my three year old son and he is autistic and is non-verbal at the moment, um, hence why you'll probably not hear him say much but just go off on into like his own little world and it's his own language. But he's the most loving, sweetest little boy ever. Just in case you're wondering <laughs> who that child is. It's not just some random child. It's my baby. So I just pat it in to the skin. Like this. It looks a bit messy at first until you've really blended it out. What are you doing, darling? No, you can't have my moisturiser. You'll get that everywhere. Are you tired? Are you tired? Oh. You want a cuddle? Come here, come sit on mummy's lap. Sit on my lap and watch me. Do you want a brush? A brush? Yeah. Yeah. Still just pushing it into the skin. trying to avoid the eye area because obviously I've already done my eye makeup and then I'll just use concealer to go around that bit. Are you tired? Like that. And then my concealers so I'm going to use <coughs> the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in 05 for around the eye area and then Where is it? Here it is. 
uh, Makeup Revolution, Conceal and Define in C5. For the rest of my skin. Just popping it on the back of my hand and then getting a little brush. Putting it where I need a little bit more coverage so I have my spots. And then using my foundation brush to blend all that out. Contour. So I'm using the, <coughs> as always, L'Oreal Infallible foundation stick in Toffee 220. Going all over where I want to contour. Like that. And then taking just a smaller fluffy brush and again just pressing it lightly into the skin and pulling it off. softening it all out and if you find that it's still a bit too harsh you can always go back in with your foundation brush and go over it my skin's been really sore ow that hurts look at that bad boy ah yeah, it's been really sore recently. I apologise for looking up there, but I'm just doing my makeup in the camera. Like, I've got a mirror right here, but it seems to be easier to do it here. Um, yeah, I've, I'm probably into my third, coming into my third week on Accutane now. Because I think I'll be having my um, dermatologist appointment again soon. Yay. Which means blood tests and all that. Um, but yeah, I've noticed my skin's really drying out. So it's getting flaky. Um, my scalp is flaking. Um, and I'm getting... I'm getting fewer spots but when I do get like cysts like they're really big so like I've got one on my eyebrow there <coughs> which has actually gone down now but it was huge that one there was massive the other day and then these around here like they are they are really sore at the moment Buffing it all into the skin. <coughs> so I've not coughed all day and then I'm doing this video. <coughs> I can't stop coughing. My skin's itchy as well. Oh, the temptation to just like scratch my face right now. Ah. Oh my god, I'm using the brush to like itch my face. It's another thing with acne, like it makes your skin go really like, itchy. And no, before anyone comments, it is not because I'm wearing makeup because even when I have nothing on my skin, it still itches like mad. So, 
just before I have to explain that to anyone, like, oh, it's all your makeup that's making it irritated and itch. No, it's not, hun. It's always important to do tiny necks like as well. <coughs> And then uh, set with powder. So my favourite powder <coughs> to use is the Rimmel Stay Matte powder and translucent. So I just get a small angled brush for this and pack it on and press it under the eyes the T-zone okay and then I love blusher my favourite blushes to use are the sleek blushes this palette is the blush by three pink lemonade and it looks like that really pretty colors so i'm gonna <coughs> i gave oliver my blush brush and i don't know what he's done with it so i guess i'll go in and then i'll have to clean this brush um after but i'll go in with my powder brush I'm going to go into the lighter pink first and just push that into the apples of my cheeks. I know some people like aren't a big fan of blusher but I love it. I think it just gives you a bit of colour. And then I'm going to go into the darker one here. Just push this up here just above where the bronzer, well, where the contour is. And less is more, so you can always build it up, but you can't, it's a lot harder to take it away, so just use a little bit at a time. I've just said less is more, and have you seen my eyes? <laughs> Oh well. Um, I think I am just gonna contour my cheekbones a little bit more. It's looking pretty glowy, and I haven't even put highlighter on yet. I love it. So speaking of highlighter, that's what I'm going to go in with next. So I use the Doll Beauty Shine, Doll, yeah, Doll Beauty, Doll Light, Shine Bright. <laughs> Got that in the end. Um, it's literally my favourite. I'm running out. I need to get some more. I'm just going to use this on a fan brush. Look at that. So good. It's not even a damp brush either. This is a dry brush. Love it. Ugh. I love adding highlight. don't have to obviously add it everywhere like I do I just love the highlight I want it everywhere I'm gonna go in with a little <coughs> smaller pencil brush just to do my cupid's bow nose 
just above the eyebrows and in a corner Wake up, Abby. I'm just going to finish off and do my lips. This is just a NYX suede lip liner in Stockholm. I'm going to use uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in pure Hollywood. I love it <coughs> and that's it for my skin okay I think that's it I'm just gonna finish off by setting with the revolution setting spray and then Um, another product from Rodeo, which is Dragon's Blood Essence Mist, which is beautiful, it smells amazing. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If not, I apologise. Um, Oliver, do you want to come say bye? No, no, it's not bothered. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.